So let's talk a little bit too about how you can add um, cost calculation as our tip of the week today. So for cost, again, going back to our property schedule, uh, in this case, maybe we're gonna track our interiors. So we're gonna create a um, property group called interiors. And then to that property group, I'm gonna add um, a property called cabinet price. So we've got our cabinet schedule now. Now we wanna add a value for that of price. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in next as well. Oops, sorry. Once I've done that, um, and I've got a scheme setting um, and a criteria that's only showing C. Uh, I'm now going to create a, a new scheme like we just talked about to kind of that creates that. And it's going to have a cabinet unit pricing schedule will be my new schedule scheme, not just a kitchen um, cabinet schedule, but maybe this one's called kitchen unit pricing schedule. Once I've done that, um, and then I want to add appropriate fills, which would include uh, that cabinet price. So you'll see that now, not only do, you know, do I add other things like typical kind of fills, which are things like element ID or description or quantity, but I also need to add in that property. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to click add fields. I'm going to go down to the bottom of the add fields option there where it says properties. And I'm now going to uh, open that up and you'll see that it might cabinet price is there. I simply add the cabinet price into my schedule and then place, place that in terms of the order that I want it. When I open the schedule, um, I can now begin to uh, type in a price there. Uh, that becomes a new uh, place where I can actually add that in. Uh, in terms of my, um, uh, in terms of a field that I can enter a price into uh, my schedule. Now let's say I want to take it kind of a step further. I want to do it, that, you know, that was just a simple kind of unit price. Maybe I want to use unit price now in terms of like at, uh, labor, right? Sort of a manual entry here. So here, what I could do is to take it maybe a step further. Now I'm going to do label it labor cost uh, by entry. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up my properties again. I'm going to add a new property called labor cost by entry. And I'm going to set the type, that number to a value of zero. Now I'm going to create a new scheme called cabinet unit and labor pricing schedule and uh, add that into uh, uh, my new schedule scheme. And here I'm actually going to create a new property group where I'm actually going to use an expression. Now, if you're not familiar with expressions, uh, you'll see this is an option right down here, okay, uh, where I'm actually selecting a data type of number and I'm selecting an expression, and now I'm going to enter in an expression in here, okay? And so expressions are, if you're familiar with Excel, and you're familiar with Excel in the sense of creating formulas, expressions are very similar to formulas. And so in this case, I'm basically creating a sum that is a cabinet price plus the labor cost by entry. And now I'm gonna add fields in there, um, that are the different fields of the labor costs by entry here. And I'll just add that in, much like I did before with just the, the cabinet price only. So I add that cabinet cost by entry, as well as my uh, cabinet price and my cabinets uh, calculation. By doing that, I can then... Uh, have the ability to add, or I should say, enter in um, uh, the number here of 200, uh, the number here of 50, and then, then that simply adds that up to 250 as a total, real simple. Um, so basically all we've done is simply say, you know, A plus B equals this uh, amount, right? And then we can calculate that down at the bottom as well. And so this becomes just a running count of calculations in a really simple uh, form and this is probably the most simplest form of a, um, a formula that we could create using expressions because it's just a plus b equals a sum. 
And then we could also do uh, a kind of a, a labor plus percent of unit costs, a similar concept where we basically go to labor cost by percent. We add that in as a new property. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new scheme uh, in, our, in our scheme settings called cabinet unit and labor as a percent schedule. And so when I do that, I'm now going to create another new expression. I'm going to call this sum of cabinet price plus labor cost by percent. So again, you know, we're just taking that cabinet price and adding a labor cost by percent. That becomes a new sum right down here. And then once we've done that, we add in uh, our labor cost by entry, cabinets calculation, and we add those into our total here. Uh, that gives us a running uh, a total. So that now we can add one more piece in, which is basically taking that unit price. We uh, I have a labor percent here. We're saying, well, it's a unit price, but it's really the labor cost is going to be that amount of our unit price. And we've got different percentages that kind of take that down to give us a total price. So these are different ways that, you know, just as a, um, a process that you could use, you know, the, the um, expressions within Archicad uh, to create different types of schedules. Again, keeping it fairly simple because, you know, our expressions can get very fairly complicated but it actually is a fairly simple way of doing that.